Warning, this video contains graphic images that may not be suitable for little sissy bitches. So, if your discretion is advised, we kill shit here. Trapper J Outdoors is sponsored by Duke Traps Wildlife Management Equipment. Dunlap Lures Results Matter. Showed you the dam break. Look at this ditch now. That's crazy. There's a big old snapping turtle right there. He took out all the trees, everything. dam here. Now well, I just gotta keep an eye on it. See when they come back. It's definitely up in here. I've got an RBG trap over there that is not connected, but it, it seemed like it should at some point. I did take them off underwater. Everybody's like, you're definitely left them on, but I had a hit there, but I think I done got the beaver on the other side. We got some freezing weather coming. Maybe we'll get some ice on here and I can find the rest of the active bank in and move around. Right now I'm just going to leave everything where it is. See that hot traps on the other side? Well, I had gloves. I left just left them on the four wheeler. It's not that cold out, so still set. Yep. Yep. I had some gloves to wear, and I left them on the four wheeler just now. So apparently, I don't need gloves. I need to get out of this. I'm in the trench. When the hell does it leave at? <clears throat> Pretty active run. I can't believe I didn't catch him. Where's the otter at? That's what I want to know. You would think an otter would have come along by now. 
Beautiful out though. It's like in the 60s today. Nice. I see something over here where you guys tell me all the safety's on. I see something. Oh. Everybody's like, you left them on. I have a habit of leaving them on until I've got it set and then I take them off. We got one. I tore up the area. Maybe I left one safety on. I'm gonna find out. There's my stick I usually put on top of it. The little one. Oh, redemption people. You know where we're at. That's a big favor I guess we'll find out I leave with one safety on or what now oh, they're both off so heck yeah lots of comments about it and I did bring my <laughs> I, did, I did bring my trap uh, setters but you know they're in the they're on the floor there also. <laughs> just over the hill here. Right, we'll just make do. That new one didn't catch, so we're, we're good. Of course, I still said it was my hands, but and it's not as cold as it was the other day when I did this. All right, that's a, that's a good one right there. This is a, this is a really active run right here. It's a really nice one. Yeah, everybody thought I put my I didn't take my safeties off, but just because you didn't see it don't mean anything. I we had to watch back the video because there were so many dang comments about it. They were off the other one too, though, so I don't know. That one did look like I might have left it on the very last one, but like I say, it's all it's kind of a muscle memory deal. I went in just like this, and then when I put it down, I just take them off. It's just that's the way it is. But I have, I definitely have forgot them. And it's not that big of a deal, really. You'll find out unless you don't check ever. <laughs> Actually, it looks like they might have just fell off on their own from the looks of it. <laughs> Put it right back in here. We're catching them right here. Yeah, you walk by your trap over and over again, and then you're like, ah, oh, damn, that, that, that spot sucks. Turns out your safety was on the whole time. Yeah, I don't stay in one spot that long to really notice. All right, where's my dang? Here it is. This guy needs to be anchored right here. Remember, with 330s, you don't want to go, you want to go up and down. When you're looking for your 330, you go down, down, down. Don't go. Where is it? Okay, we got a beaver here. Sweet. Well, that worked out. I was curious. I watched the video and I'm like, yeah, I, I think I did it underwater, but whatever. There's three there. Ah, the water's getting deeper and deeper. It, oh, they talked about going down there and busting the dam down stream where I been trapping the beaver and that ought to, that would really lower this a lot. I can't believe surely there's otter along here.
I really would have thought I'd get one here. What's that? They gotta, they must not be used. These must not be getting used that much yet. <laughs> it's only that I can think of. This is the fourth beaver off of this area. It's pretty good. Off of this little spot, I should say. I don't see anything here, but it'd be nice. It's deep enough. They're still set. There's probably a run out there in the middle somewhere. It's a hell of a food bed. I'll leave that beaver there for now. We got one two twenty over here. I wish I could drive on this levee, it'd be a lot better. There's really not much of a levee there. I got this 220 here that I've been trying to see if I could get something here. It's about to get set off by sticks, so I gotta get them sticks out of there. I thought a muskrat or something would have went in there by now. Maybe a otter. Cause there ain't room for a 330 there here in Iowa. All right, see there's another little bank down here. But the bottom is not that hard. I'm, I'm gonna wait for ice and then I'll try to load all these up. Order some more. Yeah. Sort of one there. It's hard to tell where they're at. So many holes to check. Then I got a hole up here somewhere. I'll have to find it from the other side. It's kind of a pain to find. That has, it might be back there. It actually has a 220 next to it. And I want to put a drowner in it at some point. Let's see if I can go find it real quick. Should, should mark it. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Here. This thing's kind of cool. Nothing in my trap. I know there's a lot of crawling in and out. Maybe I'll put that trap right here. It's not ideal. I want to put a foothold clear down in this tunnel. It's pretty cool looking in it. Through the levee. <laughs> now here's my 220. I caught a possum in. <clears throat> Imagine that. The old cave possum, I guess. Let's clear this up a little bit. Put that there. We can probably get muskrats coming in and out of this, honestly. Just by doing this. I don't know, I'm not a professional 220 trapper. But I'm going to guess that the muskrats will still climb out of that. And in it. We're gonna find out until I get footholds down in there. It'd be nice if I didn't get that in there. Block this in with some shit. Make it look more natural, I guess. I'm on through, it says. <sighs> I definitely like that one. 
could at least get some muskrats right there real quick. I know they're going, the muskrats would easily go through this. And then they come down here. And out here and eat. There's just no, I did not find any muskrat dens out here. When it was clear, it's dirty, it's real dirty now. I guess you guys are wondering if I left the safeties on. There's your answer. <laughs> I gotta get out of here now. Move on. I haven't had anything on my canine line over the last couple days since the bobcat was swiped. So hopefully that starts picking up. We get some colder weather. Got some snow coming. So Keep, stick with me. We're catching stuff daily. Just gotta move stuff around because it's slowing down. Time to roll off to another property. It's pretty apparent that the fox are making a comeback. Got him in the canine extreme. I don't see anything in my other set, but pretty nice fox there. Got him on this trail. There's a two track here. Runs right along here. Look how pretty these guys are. Really nice coat, real nice tip on there, white tip. Another one for the wall. Pretty. All right. We'll cover this guy up and take care of it tomorrow. He's got this so tore up. So tore up. Thanks for watching, guys.